Right now, the fog is developing here in parts of Glades and Hendry County and along the Peace River, where you're seeing the visibility between Inglewood and Port Charlotte, two and three quarters to three miles. And as we work our way around the lake, some of the lowest spots here between Moorhaven along 78 and 80, Clewiston, LaBelle, and Immokalee, uh, improving a little bit along State Road 29, where at one point this morning we were down below a half a mile. Cape Coral, Fort Myers still looking pretty good. All of this fog will be gone in about an hour between 8 and 9 o'clock. We see it mix out, and we will not have to worry about rain on the radar this afternoon either as we are going to be hot and dry uh, as far as our rainfall needs. Well, we're over two and a half inches behind now for Fort Myers, a little over three and a quarter. If you look back to last December, all of Southwest Florida registering as abnormally dry on the drought index. So our temperatures this morning after reaching 90 yesterday, setting a record and uh, hitting the 90 degree mark way earlier than we should. We usually do it around April 17th. We're starting our day upper 60s to 70 and you can see that's a little warmer for LaBelle and Immokalee and our winds are calm. They're going to be fairly light today. It's uh, going to be fairly calm out of the west 5 to 10 and that will help push our temperatures right back up in the upper 80s. Records are not going to be in jeopardy today. We'll see that high temperature right around 88 degrees. Sunset time coming up at 626. Here's why we're not going to set a record today. The record is 92 going back to 1962 and you can see how high our reading of 88 is above our average. Record low on this day to 35 and we aren't going to come anywhere close to that at all in the seven day forecast as all the cold air is locked to the north. We've still got single digits between Omaha and Minneapolis and as that front kind of stalls out over the Tennessee Valley, we're going to be influenced by this ridge of high pressure and it's going to keep all the rain off to the north. You see it there across the Tennessee Valley back towards Oklahoma and Dallas and as long as this ridge is in place, which it's forecast to stay not only for the weekend but early next week, we're going to be hot and we're going to be dry. No significant rain chance. You see the green kind of flickering in and out. That's the model trying to pick up on a little moisture, but it's simply overdoing it. And as we go through early next week, we're going to stay dry. All the rain still locked in the southeast. Here's why we look at the upper levels of the atmosphere as well. The jet stream is very flat. It's what we call a zonal pattern, and that's because this ridge is keeping the cold air from diving to the south and any type of little kinks in the road there or lows we see develop. They're going to stay to our north, and we do have a couple of those forecasts here in the next little bit. If we were to get a cool down, it's going to be the the weekend of the third, fourth and fifth where we see a little cooler air a little farther to the south. Not all that impressive, but at this point we'll take what we can get. Here's your seven day forecast. We'll stay well above our average of 79, not only through the weekend, but all next week as we stay 85 degrees or warmer all the way through next Friday.